Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors, new videos every Saturday, so if you don't want to miss out on your Tex Scrabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness, make sure to click subscribe and check my channel every Saturday for new videos. I love reading your comments and I really do appreciate all of you that watch. Today we're going to be talking about why anybody would actually want to big game hunt. Why would you want to hunt dangerous game? Strap in, it's going to be a bumpy ride and I guarantee you I'm going to make it weird. But hopefully this is going to help you explain your desire to hunt to other people that may not understand it. Because the fact is, you've got to meet them where they're at. You don't need their approval to do what you want. But you catch a lot more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Here's the facts. We as hunters, I would imagine most of you would agree with this, we hunt for reasons beyond simple sustenance. We also fornicate for reasons beyond simple procreation. Hunting is religion. Whether you practice it or not isn't up to me. I don't get to tell you how to practice your own religion, but hunting is a religion. It has a very spiritual significance. Let's look at westernized religion, specifically Catholicism and Christianity. Holy Communion, the act of absorbing the Almighty into your body, body, blood, and spirit, well, guess what? You can't have true communion with nature until you're an active participant in it. However, let's look at it from a non-subsistence hunting standpoint and take it farther east. Zen Buddhism is a search for enlightenment. Now you may ask, how is it that you can search for enlightenment by killing another creature. Elephant, rhinoceros, cape buffalo, lion, and so on. These beautiful megafauna creatures that are classified as dangerous game. They are all that remains of the ice age in our current time period. So we are seeking enlightenment through hunting them because it is the closest connection that we can get with our ancestors. Again, another Asiatic religion trait in this explanation. We are not seeking to prove ourselves to you. We are not trying to say that we are better than this animal because we have killed it. We are seeking enlightenment through hunting dangerous game to measure ourselves against our ancestors to honor our ancestors, to feel what they felt, as close of an approximation as we can. Now while I'm at it, the only reason that these megafauna exist and have not been hunted into extinction for bushmeat or exterminated for greed through corporations is because sportsmen are willing to pay for their existence. We are willing to shell out dollars that make sense to keep these animals around. And so before you ask why, why would I want to do this? Let me ask you, do you understand now? It is not to prove that I am a man. I know that I am a man. I have self-awareness, I know this. However, hunting as an act of manhood is a time-honored rite of passage for the human race. And that's not to say that women cannot hunt. Women can hunt. I know several good, ethical, badass women hunters. But guess what? It isn't to prove that you are better than this animal. It is to measure yourself and find enlightenment and worship through the act of the hunt. Life is a violent, beautiful, visceral mystery. And I intend on living it and dying because I was living it. If I get stomped into the ground by a critter, that's just the way that it goes. And I know there's plenty of you that just hope the camera survives my brutal mauling when the critter finally wins. That's just how it goes down. 
As always, God bless all my sports center of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. This has got my friends over at SOETacticalGear.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Tech Grabner Outdoors.